Hey everybody, Rick's here. In this video, we're going to be talking about an electric pencil sharpener that just happened to fly through my window, slide across my kitchen floor, down the hallway, bumped right into my office door right over here. I looked down, there it was, and here it is. The Ryo PS-04 Portable Auto Pencil Sharpener. For all of you that are a fishy and days, fish, fish, fishy, natos, Sharknados, fish, fishing, aficionado. Yeah, that's it. Aficionado sounds Spanish. A person who is very knowledgeable and enthusiastic about an activity, subject, or pastime. In this case, drawing, pencils, art supplies, stuff to do from the office. You know, pens, pencils. All of course, you wouldn't sharpen your pen. Pencils, right? So anyway, we're going to take a look at this pencil sharpener and see if it's something that we can add to our repertoire. No, I'm not going to go look that up. Hey, you're back. Okay, good. Before we get right into that pencil sharpener, I want to talk about something that is staring me right in the face. That's right. This big old black thing right here in front of my nose. You're probably wondering, oh no, is Rick's can do it starting a podcast? No, could you imagine me in a podcast? Of course not. The reason this is here, this is a microphone, a condenser microphone. And somebody asked me to take a look at it, tell me what I think about it. So I thought, well, why don't I use it in the video? Hey, how about a video about pencil sharpeners? That's a segue. Anyway, there it is. We're going to talk about it for just a second here. It's called the Cronova BM700 USB microphone. It comes with this little stand right here. And let me tell you something about this little puppy here that I noticed right away. I compared it to my Sax sound microphone, something that costs more than this one does. And my Sax sound is plastic. This thing's got heft. I mean, it's like it's metal. It feels like metal. It's like strong. Anyway, it feels like it's got substance to it. It's beautiful looking. It's got a gold screen on it. And then I, of course, got my little windbreaker black foamy thing circulating around it. Anyway, so you can hear it. You can hear how it sounds. If this is something that you like, maybe you want to start a podcast or whatever. The link will be down in the description below. As a disclaimer to let you know, I do not collect any affiliate income if you purchase this microphone or if you purchase this pencil sharpener or if you purchase anything from any of my review videos i do not make a red cent not a blue cent yellow cent let's get right into the pencil sharpener all right all you fishy sharknados here we are and we're going to take a look at this puppy now there's not much to look at on the box but there you go if you want to know all the code numbers and stuff it is made in China. Let's check it out and see if it's something that's uh, something you might want to get for your drawing needs. Oh, there's something in there. Okay. And let's just dump all this stuff out. All right. So you got some instructions. You know how I feel about instructions. Get rid of it. Ouch. Okay. And here's a close-up of the pencil sharpener. It's got some kind of storage bin. I guess this is for pencils. Though... I'm not sure if it's deep enough, but it does hold the pencils, but they will kind of lean because um, it's not really that deep. So I, I think this could be a little deeper for pencils. Maybe they just have shorter pencils in China. I don't know. You tell me. Comments below. You know how that works. All right. And you have this charger. Okay. You know what's really cool though? At least this one comes with the actual electrical plug. Now this one here is US of A type and I would imagine you'd have to contact the company to see if they have different plugs for different countries. I don't know. You can inquire. But uh, let's go ahead and undo this. All right. And then plug her in. Okay. And it's got a place right there in the back to plug it in. Also, I want you to notice that right here, model PS-04 made in China, the mystery is now over with. 
you can also put in four double a batteries as shown here and we will do that just to see if it is strong enough to handle the job personally myself i hate wasting batteries if i have a way of plugging the thing in that's just me all right it also comes with this little brush so that you can clean the blades which are in there somewhere this thing apparently pulls off i imagine let's see how this yeah it just pulls out like this the storage for the shavings, as you can see here, it doesn't have a lot of room for storage. So when you fill this up about halfway, it is recommended to dump it out. And here is access to the blade. It does not look like it's a replaceable blade like the previous model we reviewed here. But at least you can clean it, right? Okay, good. Let's get rid of that brush. Let's push that puppy in. All right. Looks good. I noticed that it says open with an arrow this way, open with an arrow this way. So in case you're thinking about pushing it this way, it's not going to work. It, it means pull it out. It's rated for 6 millimeter to 8 millimeter. In a previous video for a previous sharp mirror that was reviewed on this channel, we found that it would not take 8 millimeter pencils. We're going to go thoroughly and test to make sure that this puppy can do what it says it can do. But we also want to see is what kind of a job it can do because we want our pencils nicely sharpened. So let me get my pencil box where we have all kinds of super cool pencils that we can sharpen. Now, of course, all my pencils are already sharpened. That means I'm going to have to do that, which I know a lot of you find quite painful and that is to snap the end so let's grab some pencils here which one do we want to snap the end on well this one actually looks like it needs to be sharpened so I won't snap the end on that one and this one here looks like it can use oh here's the one the other pencil sharpener could not sharpen and this is not even eight millimeters. This is seven and a half millimeters. And I'll bring my caliber out for this review as well so that you can see what I'm talking about. But it had problems trying to sharpen this and it was unable to do it. I hope that this sharpener can do it because that would give it a big, big attaboy if it can. All right, and let's see. What else could use a sharpen here? This one looks like it could use a sharpen. Okay, so I think we got enough pencils here for right now to test it out with. Let's bring this back into the center. Let's start off with this pencil right here. You see how dull it is? See, it doesn't have a point. See that it doesn't have a point? See how it doesn't have a point? All right. This does not have an auto stop, folks. So when you put this pencil into the sharpener there and you got to give it a little bit of pressure to activate the switch so it can start sharpening pull it out from time to time and check it to make sure that it's sharpened if you just leave it in here and keep holding it guess what you're going to end up with something like that so be warned there's no auto stop here we go This thing does quick work. Did you see how quick that was? And there it is. That's a nice point. Okay, let's put that one to the side. Here I have a Geoconda Sepia Light. This is one of those pastel type pencils. This sharpener is not rated for soft lead stuff like color pencils don't use color pencils in here we shouldn't use this so i'll hold this for last but any of this soft lead stuff color pencil stuff the instruction says no it's not made for that all right so we'll leave that for last because i'm going to test it anyway and here we have a charcoal white pencil we're going to test this but let's put that aside. We're going to deal with the graphite first. Here we have a big old fat pencil. It's a charcoal pencil. We'll see if it fits. We'll measure the width first just to make sure 
that it's within the 68 millimeter. And of course the one that's seven and a half millimeter that didn't work in the previous sharpener, we'll see if it works in this because they were both rated the same, six millimeter to eight millimeter. Okay, so maybe eight millimeter and seven and a half millimeter in China is different than everywhere else in the world. I don't know, but we'll find out if it's two times in a row. All right, and here's another graphite pencil. Let's sharpen this. Now you can hear the sound starts to speed up when you're getting close to a fully sharpened pencil. It won't stop automatically, but at least it gives you a hint. And there it is. Look at that point. That's a nice point, isn't it? All right. So we got some nice points coming out of this thing. It does a great job. I got a little stub of a charcoal pencil here, a General's charcoal pencil. It was uh, carved with an X-Acto knife. I'm just curious. I'm just doing this out of curiosity. I really don't have much room to hold it because it's a stub. But let's see what it does. It does good. All right, that's a thumbs up right there. I did this earlier. This is a carbon pencil. Check out that. Isn't that awesome? That's from this too. Here I have a broken off, uh, what they call woodless pencil. I, I dropped it on the ground and it cracked in half in one of my previous, uh, I think it was a, either a review of a product or it was a drawing. I think it was a drawing thing and I broke it. So let's see if it sharpens this. Ate it up. Look at that. Uh oh. That's a big piece in there. So the instructions are that if you can't dislodge it, let me uh, let me dump this out. So, we need to dislodge this thing. Let's see if I can. Oh, what a mess. What a mess. <laughs> All right. And I need to push this thing to move it. Move it, move it, move it. There we go. And there's a big piece in there where, let me see, I can't see it. Now this thing is not supposed to be able to work if the uh, the thing is not on here. So let's see. Yep, can't do it. And there's a big piece in there. So that's what happens when you mess around. Just push on that little thing and you get to it. I don't see anything. Let's see if we can get something sharpened here. Thing's pretty well jammed in there. Woo, look at how scratch that thing up. Kids, don't do this at home. Boy, look at my hands. <laughs> All right. So, the question is can this thing survive the beating that comes with Rick's can do it? I'm going to, they said that you have to 
um, shove a pencil in there and force it to to shave that puppy. So that's that's what we're gonna do. Where's my power? I need power. Not recommended, but that stuff is hard. sharpened look at that of course uh, there went a pretty decent pencil anyway looks like I'm gonna need another victim where's that Ticonderoga those make good victims okay so I'm gonna shove one more pencil down there that I don't care about I know it's a sin Let's go high class. Here's a black wing, okay? Look at that. Nice job on the black wing. So, I've given this thing a ton of abuse. I've shoved a screwdriver down in there, unplugged of course, to break up the pieces of that woodless thing. Uh, I shoved everything down in there and it still sharpens pencils. So far, this pencil sharpener is getting my A-OK, -okay, but it still needs to sharpen six millimeter to eight millimeter, but it sure is taking a beating and it's still ticking and sharpening even my best pencils, which are the black wings. So let's continue on with this. Here's a chalk pencil, something else that really is not made for, but let's see how it does. Look at that. Woo! That's a very soft lead char charcoal pencil. Okay, it's the it's actually a pastel pencil, which this is not made for pastels or uh, color pencils, folks. And look at look what it did to that one. There's pastel chalk, so it's more of a chalk. And uh, it's 4414 white. So there you go. Now, here's another one of those chalk pencils. This is a red chalk pencil. Don't ask me why I have a red chalk pencil. I never use it. I don't know why I'd want red chalk on any of my black and white drawings, but let's sharpen it because it has a really dorky tip on it. <laughs> Woo! Look at that. Wow, that's nice. Okay. All right. How about this goofy thing? What is this? Here's a sepia light Geoconda Nor... I guess it's another, it's an 8803 something or another. I don't know what kind of pencil it is. It's like that one where I, I wouldn't normally use it. Wow, look at that. And by the way, yeah, you better pull it up from time to time and see if it's done, because I'm probably going to chew off more pencil than I need. But isn't that something? Look at that. And it didn't break it. All right, so it's not breaking. It's not breaking any of these soft pencils that I just did here. But again, they say it's not recommended for color pencils, so don't put don't put your color pencils in there. These are chalk pencils, 
by the way I'm not putting any of those color pencils in there okay so we did graphite we did carbon we did charcoal I guess we don't want to stick in the woodless woodless bad idea it breaks like glass on the floor and it breaks like glass in here don't put woodless in there that goes in the trash all right and here's here's the other half of it you know what I'm gonna do it anyway <laughs> Just be careful with it, but there you go. Woodless pencil seems to be all right. All right, we'll put that there. But if you break it off in there like I did, you're going to be beating up your sharpener. There's no real easy way to eject uh, any lead. You just have to put another pencil in there and really force that down in there uh, to try to get the broken piece to sharpen out through the blade. Okay, now to the big, thicker pencils. Let me get my calibers out. So that you can see whether they are within range. So, first off, the Carandash, and you can see there that it is seven and a half millimeters. All right, seven and a half millimeters for the Carandash. Will it work in this sharpener rated at six to eight millimeters? All right. The other one did not in the previous video, so let's see if this one will. So far, it's not doing it. I'm having a hard time getting it in there, but it is getting in there. Let's see if I can get it sharpened. All right, I was able to sharpen it. So you can do the seven and a half millimeters, but I can tell you this, eight millimeter does not fit in this pencil sharpener, but at least the seven and a half does, which didn't work in the previous sharpener that I did. So I don't know what is up with these claims of six to eight millimeters when here we have something that's less than eight millimeters and this barely made it through there, but you know what? At least you can sharpen it. So we have to give it that. It can do that, but it can't do eight millimeter. Now this pencil here is probably more than eight, and I know it's not going in there. Let's see, what is it? Yeah, it's a little over eight. So you're not gonna be able to sharpen the uh, Primo Elite Grande charcoal pencil. <laughs> Enough of that. All right, that's not going to sharpen, right? But can you cheat? Yeah, I think we can cheat. Let's cheat. So let's say you want to sharpen your charcoal pencil, and this is the only sharpener you have. Well, let's take some meat off the bones here with this X-Acto knife. We'll take off a little there. We'll take a little off there, and a little off of here, and a little off of here. It's yeah, it's got too many sides. And one more. Okay, now obviously you can keep doing this and sharpen it with an X-Acto, which is exactly how I sharpened this in the first place. But if you don't want to do that, all you got to do is make sure that this thing is no more than maybe seven and a half millimeters, right? And then you should be able to stick it in here and sharpen it. Let's see. Well, I need actually to go down lower, so let's do that. And yes, it's hokey, because I have pencil sharpeners that will take this pencil without having to do this. But I'm just saying, what if this was the only one you had and you can only own? Well, there you go. All right, let's see if that will work. Don't do it, it'll eat it up, see? All right, so 
we can't do that. There you go. From six to 7.5. So let's cross that out and it's 7.5 millimeters. All right, that's what this will sharpen, not eight. So I wish they wouldn't write eight on the box or in that, in that, uh, yeah, there it is. See, it tells you right there, six to eight millimeter. I'm sorry, but that, that is not true. All right. And they really, these pencil sharpener companies need to start being a little more exacting on the diameters of these pencils because uh, this pencil that I have here is seven and a half millimeters as I shown you and it barely made it in here eight will not make it in here at all now the last thing to do is to go get four batteries and test that out what a mess all right so let's try the batteries and see how that works These are fresh Duracells, so we should get a good idea of whether this is a good, strong, portable sharpener. All right, we need more pencils to sharpen. So let's go in here, let's put these back and this back. Okay, so first off, let's try this pencil right here, the Camlin Exam Code. Kuyo Camlin LTD. All right. So it's kind of got a goofy kind of no point on there. Let's see what it does. Ooh, I snapped that off. I forgot. I broke that charcoal pencil in there, didn't I? All right. <laughs> got to give this thing a fair shot. You know, I'm breaking everything in it. Okay, there's the point, and it really strained to point to sharpen it, but that's because I broke off that charcoal in there, and I still have to kind of work that out. So hopefully I did. By the way, folks, don't do this at home, but I stick this little screwdriver in here, make sure it's not powered up, make sure it doesn't have any batteries, and it can't be good for the blade either, but sometimes, you know, desperate measures... So I went ahead and uh, broke that up. Uh, it would be nice if this thing had some kind of a lead ejection because you can see already that there are certain people that are very abusive. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, me. And uh, I really put my pencil sharpeners to the test. It'd be nice if they had ways of ejecting that lead like some do. But anyway, here we go. Oh, look, it's the Blackwing Palomino. What? I have no idea what number that is. Because it's, it's, what is that? I don't know what number that is. All right, but here we go. Nice point. There we go. This has an ugly point. This is the Stadler, the Boring Rally number two HB pencil. Here we go. Okay. And we have the Apsara, Apsara, I don't know, gold for executives. Okay, that's it. So, put my sacrificial lambs away. What is my final take of this puppy here? All right, this is exactly what I honestly believe and feel about this sharpener. All right, I think, number one, 
that this is a good sharpener, that it takes a lot of beating. As you saw, it takes a lot of abuse and keeps on going. That is a positive. Another positive. I like the fact that it comes with an actual plug. Because a negative is, it's not as powerful with batteries. It works. It's good if you're going to be out and about and you need a sharpener, it will work. But when you are buying an electrical plug, plug it in, you get much more strength out of the sharpener. Okay, positives. It does a great job in sharpening even things you shouldn't be sharpening in it. I got away with it and was able to sharpen and get some really nice points on all my pencils. A negative. They say it's six to eight millimeters that it can take in pencil size. No, it can only go up to seven and a half millimeter and that is a tight fit at seven and a half millimeters. All right, so that is definitely a negative. Another negative is this pocket isn't deep enough, but that's not a big deal. I don't use my sharpeners as pencil holders anyway. And it doesn't have a lead eject, which I think something like this should, or you should be able to take the blade out and then be able to clean it out and whatever, and then stick the blade back in. So it's pretty much an enclosed unit. I don't see how you can change the blade if it gets dull. And if you're like me and you stick screwdrivers in it, it's going to get dull awfully quick. All right, I highly recommend that you do not stick in here anything that is not uh, supposed to be in there and you guys you know what I'm talking about don't be sticking whatever you want in here no color pencils no soft pencils use regular graphite pencils uh, some charcoal you can give it a shot but hey if it breaks off inside you're gonna have to figure out how to get it out there's just really no way other than forcing it through with another pencil and of course that's never a good thing okay so I like the sharpener and I will definitely use it because of the fact that it can take my abuse and uh, it will sharpen regular pencils and it does a great job in sharpening it so I like that but you got both sides of it the pros and the cons there you go folks it is the Ryo PS04. There'll be a link down below. And as I said before, I don't make any commissions from any of these products whatsoever. All right. Well, thanks a lot for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe. Click the notification bell so it goes ding, ding. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Hey, look, guys, I washed my hands.